Hello Collective Atheicus. I don't think I've talked to you in a million years. At least that's what it feels like. Alright, so let's see what's going on for you today for those of you that are new. Atheicus is a very special sign to me. I see it as being the life container of our Kundalini, as being um, very connected to the Divine Lovers, as being very aligned to the Blu-ray star seeds. Okay. For those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you so much. If you'd like to learn more about all of the things that came to me in terms of Ophiuchus, um, there's a, the beginning of my Celestial Spark book is Ophiuchus as well as my book, Souls in the Light Field, um, was all sparked by Ophiuchus, okay? So let's see what's going on for you today. All right, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, um, somebody may be dealing with some extremism in their life where somebody just wants you to be quiet in a situation where you're not supposed to be quiet, right? Like, it's like birthing silent, like, of course you're going to um, have some sound frequencies when you're giving birth, okay? And the universe is saying, just sit there, right? Like, your heart is open, your fire is slowly crawling up to your heart, okay? You've done a big release, I feel like, where you've released everything and it's gone back into the universe and it's into the Pachamama and it's starting to come back up. So have some fun have some play with that fire and understand that it's going to morph a little bit into a calmer sense as it nears your heart all right so let's see what's going on today we're doing a soul path reading as spirit has divined on the extended on patreon which is my donation based program it renews at the beginning of every month. You can pay a dollar or a pound. You can pay $10 or $22 or $33. Whatever you feel aligned to giving as a donation. In exchange, you get early access and bonus readings. Okay, that is down below. The link is also in um, at mindsetunicorn.me where you'll see my Etsy special and... Um, you'll see my regular readings okay and what is still impacting you from the past you have had this is the most complex that's come out of course it is off of this. underlying is the curiosity of this coyote but they're also reminding me with the lodge here like here in Seattle right now we've had some aggressive coyotes but that's because we are so close to their den, okay? And so when you're feeling, I feel like, overtly, uh, right? That fire is activated. It hasn't quite merged into your heart yet. And Spirit is saying, right? Like, take a minute. What old trigger is this bringing up? Because when this reaches your heart, when this frequency reaches your heart, you're going to have a little bit of a challenge because it's re-guiding you, it's redirecting you into where you're meant to be, okay? And karmically, this means that you're either getting ready to start a brand new journey or you are about to release something from the past, and so the closer that this fire gets to your heart and to this path of moving forward and being fully aligned, it can be kind of scary. Because in the past here, we've got the ghost dance crossed by water, okay? Whatever it was that ghosted here that was emotionally very hard to deal with was part of your path because you wouldn't have gotten to here where you needed to be if you wouldn't have gone through that, okay? So, hello, Oliver. 
Are you wanting to come show off? Can mommy move her sweater so that you don't terrorize it? Okay. Come say hi to Auntie. Yes, come on. All right, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Say hi, Auntie. You say my mommy groomed me. Say I don't look as cute as when the groomer does it, but at least I'm not so. You know. <laughs> I felt like you know the gal that does the uh, Kardashians. Like I, when I went like this, I felt like when she does Chloe with the funny post-it note nails. That's going to resonate for someone as a, a knowing that this is a reading for you. Okay. So, what you're learning here, what if it was easy? Someone else got this card. Okay. It doesn't have to be hard. Call in the universe, the stars, the angels, and their powers. Find the solution. Would you take the next step if it were easy? Right? It's about expecting ease because you feel challenged in this new direction. Okay, the lesson here from this past. What do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? Okay, some of you, this was about very divine masculine energy and realigning to these new frequencies, these new transactional frequencies that we are going through. Very interesting. Could have also been fears about moving on from a job or a relationship, which could just be a roommate or parents because of money, okay? And having that money not show up because it comes from the heart space, right? And I think you were clearing that out with the water energy there. So tell me about this spirit. Yeah, okay, Five of Cups definitely left you very emotional. Again, with the water here, this was like an, oh shit, what do I do now? Like the waves are coming in, but your higher self was like, it's okay. Get over those three cups that we just spilled. There's another cup coming in and that's a cup of love for yourself which is the most important cup of all yeah there's that ace ace of cups crossed by the king of swords in reverse but you didn't know that yet okay and what you were being told emotionally was really getting in you, your hat right but this is all new lessons about love rewriting the past right and letting go of it and it was time for that Okay, so what if it was easy, this new direction? Tell us about this new direction, Spirit. Thank you. Ten of Swords. Okay. Can you acknowledge that the pain that you went through has left a mark? But I've been going through iron infusions, and I'm noticing that the, I do bruise still very easily but I noticed that they're healing quicker, right? Can you acknowledge that you may not be fully healed, but it's going to heal quicker when you go through this, right? In the past, you can let go of Three of Pentacles. Even though everyone seems to be telling you, Five of Cups, um, how you're supposed to be doing this, what you're supposed to be doing, some of you, healing has put you in a, a state where you feel a little bit they're saying disenfranchised but i feel uh a lot of that sort of detached disassociative energy and you feel separate right in all of this but this is the time where you're the one doing this you're the one again birthing we had that empress energy yeah there it is right there this is a spiritual birth for you, and you're the one opening up this special space in your heart. No one else can do that for you. But if you have a fear of money and you release that, again, spirit's going to just hand it over to you, right? Your world is opening up, and it's very different. Okay, are you done? You want to go down? Go. Go. I can go. Okay. Oliver just wanted to say hi, and now he's done. Yeah, okay. So, what else here, Spirit? 
Yeah, again, it's that King of Swords. You knew, but you didn't know. It was written, but it, you didn't, you'd never read it before. This was something that changed your life. Crossed by the Queen of Swords in reverse. You and this energy, different pages. Okay. Yeah, Four of Cups and the star. Not that you weren't aligned in the stars, but this was you having to go through, again, this essence of realizing that what you were manifesting was this energy of loving yourself and having your beliefs match your dreams. And there we go, right? When you love yourself and it comes from this one big cup and it becomes this nine of cups, right? Then that happiness brings it into the Ten of Cups, which I really love with the sun. And I feel like that's important here in Leo season. Yeah. And so, again, you've been given the Two of Wands. You're being given this new world. But it's coming in the form of the sun, in the form of happiness. This Leo season is giving you something. And with the Seven of Cups here, it's opening up a big variety of... But apples are luxury. Apples are a transactional, like monetary luxury. And you're having these options and there's the nine of pentacles, right? And so when somebody gives you these pentacles, it's all adding up. And who is it? It's the fates, okay? The fates are offering this for you. So let's see, yeah, you're tired. I get it, right? A little bit drained, a little bit fatigued. Probably um, sharing a little bit of that release and feeling good about sharing that. But it's also scary, right? You're going into a new energy that feels almost confrontational because you're not fully connected yet. But this is also letting the shame just pour out of you because you can't heal that shame. And that shame is what feels chaotic in all of this. If you let go of the shame, the rest becomes easy. But there's a frustration in doing that because somebody disappointed you. But the universe is like, listen, we've got some surprises. Don't be stressed out about that. Okay? Yeah. Very soon the surprise is coming, right? Let it have a minute to get to know it. Let it have a minute to get into your life. Um, because otherwise, I think you're not going to give this whatever it is, a chance, and it's meant to be for you. And that's because you are still holding on to that Ten of Swords. It's all about loving yourself. You deserve love. And then as you attract, right, love yourself first, and you attract love. When you don't love yourself, you attract unrequited energies that aren't meant for you. Or that are there to teach you how to love yourself, right? Not that they aren't necessarily meant for you. Yeah. Have humor, have laughter, laughter that influences your power. I think people are going to start thanking you for this uh, openness about what you're going through. You are inspiring others. Some of this, it's a health journey for you. Some of you are uh, getting your health back. Some of the, you, this is about just an inner strength, okay? And you don't want recognition. And you're not sure what the results are going to be and i think that's the best way to approach this okay because you're just being passionate about where you are and that's good don't let the past come back in again problems are being solved but you're talking about some important shit out there off of you guys so keep doing that okay let's get a few messages closing here yeah your wishes are about to be granted here and it comes as soon as you pull the trigger on all of this, then the universe is like, ta-da, let's open this all up, okay? You don't see that two of wands yet. It is coming with something that's being pulled out of the stone, um, which you're fearful of because you're healing, but it's actually going to come and offer you something quite divine, a rising up like the phoenix out of the fire, and then you become that sort of queen of swords energy where you feel your power and you feel your justice i love that i got tree trimmers coming so i gotta hurry 
I'm not talking fast for a reason here, guys. Hey, yep, it's all being stitched together. Time weavers are working here. Um, this is what's meant for you. They're showing you the number 12 and that you're completing a cycle. All right, with the world serpent, which is you. Okay, completing a big cycle for the collective of Akiyukas. And the sun, again, it's coming. This seagull, this joy, but it comes out of the tower. And there's that, you know, right? That two of wands, the wild ox, your most valuable possessions are being given back very divinely. Again, some of you, this could be the return of an energy of a divine masculine in your life or what the divine masculine energy showcases. I celebrate my differences. I am free from conformity. I am clear and open to reaching miracles. And I am clearly, I see clearly actions of manipulation. I see the truth. So do not let people manipulate you back into that unrequited energy. Okay, I'm going to close it off with an oracle. And then I will go over to Patreon. Yeah, you're shifting, you're transforming, you're unveiling your gifts. Shapeshifter. Okay, beautiful energy. Your mind's eye sees it. You just have to flow with it. All right, so I love you guys. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.